Hi guys, I'm Tracy. Thank you for joining me today. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the most popular brushes bought by you guys according to my CD Japan affiliate um, list. So if you guys missed the first one I did of this, or if you're new here, I'm a part of the CD Japan affiliate program, which means if you use the links that I provide and purchase uh, through CD Japan, I get a small commission, but I also get a list of brushes that are being purchased. I don't get any like, personal information, just the number of orders and which brushes are being ordered. So I, I always like looking at this list and I thought maybe you guys would be interested in knowing what these brushes were um, as well. So I it's, it, it's a long list um, for the month of January. So thank you guys so much for using the links to uh, make your purchases. It really helps the channel and uh, encourages me to continue making videos. So I'm gonna just do the top five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I'll just do the top six. Um, a couple of them I don't actually have, so um, this shouldn't take too long. So I'm going to start with the, the the bottom of the list, and I'll go work my way to the top. There are two brushes at the top that got seven um, orders each, and then um, one that got six, one that got five, and a few that got four. So I'm going to start with the ones that got um, four orders. And um, this one is pretty surprising. I do have this one because it's the it's my most um, expensive brush, and and this was bought. I've seen this being purchased before, but never this many. And that's the Chikuhodo Z1, and it's just um, you know it's 100% gray scroll, super luxurious, um, pretty dense. I haven't had mine too long. I bought mine in January as well. And it's just super, I don't know, just really luxurious. I've been using it. I use it for bronzer and I also use it for finishing powder or setting powder. And it works great for both of them. I haven't had it too long, so I'm not going to, uh, I don't know exactly, you know, what I think this is best for. But it's a fairly large brush. If you have the Z8, it's kind of like a much bigger version. It kind of reminds me of the Z8, just bigger. And the Z8 is not completely round. And I believe the Z1 is supposed to be completely round. Although I feel like it's not a not like a perfect circle, but um, it's just a really, really amazing brush. I'm sure if you guys um, have received one, you understand that um, just the, how special this brush is and actually all of the Z series brushes I feel are just you know such um, such a treat to have and to use so that was the that's the one on the bottom of the list there was another one that I don't have that had four orders and that's the Bisciotto foundation brush the BFD1 I'm probably going to order this in my next order so I can go over it when I get it so I don't want to talk about it too much and then there was one that had five ordered, and that is the Koyudo Highlighter Brush, the BP24. I don't have that one either. I have heard some of you guys recommend this one. Um, I'm not going to be getting this because I believe Koyudo is discontinuing the BP series. So, um, you know, I'm probably not going to want to feature it. And so I, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to go into that one. I don't have it either and then um, one that I do have with six orders is the Bisciotto um, cheek brush the BC1 and this is one of my favorite brushes it's 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 got that really um, classic cheek brush shape and it's made of dyed uh, Saikoho goat hair and it comes from the Bisciotto long series so they're super luxurious really beautiful brushes really soft hairs these, um, even though this is goat hair, it feels, it feels like borderline like squirrel hair because it's just so soft and silky. But um, this is just a really great all-around cheek brush. Uh, you can use it for highlighter, but I mainly use it for um, blush and bronzer. But um, really, really solid brush, and um, I'm glad a lot of you guys have decided to pick this one up. Okay, so now the last two, which are 
the most frequently purchased one is the, and I'm sorry it's dirty because I used it today, is the um, Koyuto CD Japan Fupon number no. 2. And this is also a really good choice. I have B-roll of me putting my foundation on with this. And I've used it for um, foundation, liquid and cream foundation, as well as um, cream bronzer and contour. And they do both of those tasks really well. I do think this is a really great deal. I believe it comes out to uh, 37 USD and you get a lot of brush. I mean, there's a lot of hairs and this is pure goat hair so it's not like the most luxurious feeling but it's a very um quick way to get your foundation on and it's just a really i like that this one has a flat bottom so you can hold it up and um, i'm really glad that a lot of you guys have decided to get this one because when you get the cd japan koyuto um, partnership brushes the um uh, cd japan puts the handle on and koyuto provides this part so um, through that they're able to offer these brushes at a lower cost so you'll find that a lot of these are a really good deal and I do think this one is as well so that's the Fupa number no. two foundation brush and then the other number one most purchased brush in January with seven is the Hokoto GS2 and um, this is fairly new one of you guys recommended it and I'm so glad that I got it because it's it's really really versatile it does so many things so well and I'll put some b-roll of me doing an entire eye look with just this brush and it's that's what makes this brush so unique it's made of 100% Canadian squirrel hair so it has that brindle color and so it's really soft and it can blend it can lay down a transition shade it can pack uh, shimmers really well and it could line uh, especially like the lower lash line so it's just one of those super um versatile brushes that i i really really am glad i got this so and it's different because not a lot of brands um make um Canadian squirrel hair brushes especially now I think maybe they're harder to get but you know I would say if you're interested in getting this brush um, it's also a pretty good deal considering it's from the Hokoto uh, gold series so you get this really beautiful gold ferrule and a really shiny lacquered handle so you're not just getting like really nice hairs but you're getting an overall luxurious brush for a fairly good price so uh, another reason i highly recommend this one i thought maybe i just mention a couple other ones that have been getting ordered quite a bit that i've been featuring the mizuho cmp 527 has been getting pretty consistently ordered that is the um blue uh, gray squirrel and um, horse hair blending brush and I do like this one it's probably the closest um, dupe or alternative to the Wayne Goss 4 it's kind of between the Wayne Goss 4 and the Wayne Goss 3 and it's but it's different because it has that really fine point and I do find this really useful in a similar way that the Wayne Goss 3 and 4 are so I'm really pleased to see you guys getting this one um, but a lot of them, the Chikohoro Takumi, the T3 foundation brush, which I'm considering getting in my next order. And um, I mean, a lot, I'm not going to go through every one, but I did also want to mention the brushes I'm considering for my next uh, CD Japan order, which I'm putting in in March. And I'm probably going to get the Koyudo Yoshiki cheek brush, the Y2. Um, it's just been on my radar for a long time and it's supposed to be kind of similar to the Hakuhodo J210 which I got uh, I got maybe a year or two ago and then the Chikohodo T3 foundation brush or the Bisyoto FBF1. If I don't get that one possibly the Bisyoto foundation brush that I've been getting a lot of orders. So um, that's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.